Okay, sorry about that. Um, when I decided to buy the DLC and then try to install it, but then also install the second part, it decided to, uh, it crashed the store for a second, the Microsoft Store app, and then I couldn't open the game, so I had to just reset everything real quick, just to uh, make it uh, easier. Okay, now it works, and now we have that uh, DLC. It was pretty cheap, too. It was on sale with uh, me having Game Pass and all that. So, again, we're going to be playing Creedfall. <laughs> Oh, first page here. Uh, to access the DLC content, progress to the main adventure in the middle of the game. When it is available, a letter will be waiting for you at uh, all of your campsites. Okay, so it's like a middle of the road uh, difficulty. Okay, so we're gonna hit new. I'll save where it exists. So the new game will be over. Yes, I do not care about the old save because I have not played it. Um. I'm using crafting. I don't want to be virtually invincible. I'll just go on easy, cause I know. I okay. So I don't play a lot of games for the difficulty. Unless it's like Dark Souls games, or Souls-like games like Mortal Shell and crap, that's just because I want to punish myself, because why not? Why not, right? Um, I, yeah, I really don't like really difficult games. I like to just play them at my leisure, at my own pace, which is nice. Unless it's like a grinder game. If it's like a grinding game, like, uh, say, The Division 2 or Borderlands, yeah, yeah, give me the difficulty all day in those, because I will optimize the crap out of my uh, stats and stuff. Could you stand a little taller, just a tad? Yes, yes. The chin a tiny bit lower. Gaze a little more to the right. There, now, hold the pose. I would love to get my, uh, my portrait drawn like that. With, like, a charcoal. That would be really cool. Alright, so, we're obviously a woman. We don't want presets. I'll do everything myself. Base. Hmm. What do we want to go for here? Oh. Okay. More of that. I like this. It's it's a soft kind of face. It's got the nice chin in there. That subtle jawline right there, it's a little curved. I like that. That's that's that's, that's, a, that's a good face to me. Hair, okay. Hmm. It's long in the back, short everywhere else for that style. Do not like the braids or anything. Dino. Hmm. It's all around short kind of hair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, let me just have really short hair. Not a lot of hair options that I honestly like. Probably go for this one, though. Um, eyebrows. Okay. I want probably some real thin ones. I don't really want them <clears throat> too thick. Probably just stick with these. Skin color. I want pale skin. Hair color. Ooh, okay. You could do white, is great. Ooh, okay, that's, that's different. More gray toned. Might just go black with it. <clears throat> they don't seem to have like a. Sorry about that. Like a uh, more reddish option. Yeah, we'll just we'll just go with black hair. And eye color. It's a little hard to see, but I, I mean, I can see it. It's blue. I do like blue eyes. I really do. I think we'll go with those blue eyes. It's like very light ones. That's all we can do for that. So then we go to our skills. Uh, I'm going to choose magic. Um, warrior, obviously, one-handed heavy weapons, one-handed blades, firearms, strength. Um, technical... Controlling your battlefield, so set up elemental traps, firearms, one handed blades, accuracy, agility, science, and log picking. Or you can be me and go with magic because um it's magic. <laughs> Come on, it is a little magic. 
Uh, you get Divine Magic Ring, so you get an equipment item to start uh, Stasis, which is a cool ability, and One-Handed Heavy Weapons is what you're uh, good with. Granted, I probably don't use those most of the time. I recommend choose Mental Power and Willpower. And then recommended are Science and Intuition. Okay. And then... Okay. And then we go for these things. So it recommends Mental Power and Willpower, which helps with all your magic stuff. So this one increases power of all spells. This one will give me increased maximum MP. No, I think we'll go for MP, honestly. So we can start with more magic and then we can work our way up to have uh, better damage. Then these, it recommends intuition and science. Allows you to make potions. Uh, I probably won't actually work towards science for anything, uh, just for what I want, but intuition. Gathering sites becomes easier to see. Slightly increases the number of ingredients and objects uh, obtained through gathering and looting. Unlock uh, contextual dialogue options. Like I don't, I don't really do those. Um, if anything, lock picking and the craftsmanship and probably vigor and charisma what I'd go for. I wouldn't really care for uh for these ones, but lock picking is uh, useful because it's. Picking locks, you can get equipment items out of there. Craftsmanship's also nice when you get around to it, but I probably want to start with lock picking. Uh, in my opinion. Just a few more minutes. You have such an incredibly singular face. Uh, that's a compliment, my lady, out of my mouth. <laughs> Your <laughs> particularity gives character. You're still here? We have nearly finished. Have you any more need of me, Master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. He was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry, I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Telemi and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Have no fear, Master. I will go and see them in his name. I beg your pardon, but urgent matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lady! You are leaving with the tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir, truly. I must be going. Uh, my lady, please, I beg you, Her Highness has personally requested I finish this. Thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that. <laughs> That's how I'd probably feel too, sadly. I don't really like doing stuff. Um, I might eventually move the broadcast bar. Uh, oh yeah, I have to move the broadcast bar because I actually can't see my uh, corner side. Well, that's just to see my level. I don't really think that matters. That is too crush. How do we run? Oh, we hold A. Okay. Different. Hey! Ah, uh, yeah. Green blood. Cut. And so the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master. I might arms. change the brightness because it seems a bit too high, honestly. Enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. <laughs> Kurt, I'm not in need of your protection. I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? Well, let's see. Fight with honor! Alright, first in basics. Attack three times. Well, I can see my, my stuff, so I'll probably just keep it. Really. So we have X as a main attack. Secondary attack. Oh, which is just me running up and hitting. Okay. Defend yourself against three attacks. A dodge and a magical parry. What? Oh. Oh. I didn't know that was a thing. That is cool. I'm like a little uh force field. A ward almost. Um, there's a- it says use Fury. 
Oh, it's like a. Okay, so it's like a power you move. You defend yourself well, Green Blood. One might think you had a proper master of arms. The best. You already training for your new post of Leggett? Don't tire yourself. Flattery will get you nowhere. But for the fight, you have remembered your basics. Your performance just got you out of a final lesson. Unless you want to go through the paces again before we depart. No, I think I've got down the gameplay. No. Thanks all the same. I have quite a few tasks to check off my list before we depart. And here you are already assuming your political functions. And in a hurry. Always too busy. Very well. If you ever want to go over your basics later, visit one of our barracks on the aisle. You'll always find a training partner to give you a friendly fight. <laughs> I'll remember that. Thanks. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes. You know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. On the contrary, I am thrilled that both you and Sir de Corsillon are joining our party. A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. Don't tell me the old school teacher is competing against me. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. I have no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night, and we haven't seen him since. You know, Constantine. I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for a celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. All right, on palace. What is this? Have you not been taught to knock? I've asked a thousand times. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now, let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill. Dying, my child. Oh, Alas, dying. there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to... I know. But it brings me comfort to know my daughter has left on a mission to heal her people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here. Take this with you. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off. That's a thick ass door. Got a hat. Cut. Sorry, Green Blood. Look, we can see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You were right. Maybe he is already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. 
The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier, but the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier located? In the lower Boris, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits. Oh, uh, let's hit add a team just because. Where would you like to begin? Right. Well, we do I've side been asked to pay That's visits to the do. ambassadors of Tulane like and the Bridge Alliance before I. Their dwellings are not far from here. Uh, we could go okay. there. Very well. Do you think Constantine will be waiting for us next to the ship? I don't know, but it is certainly. Oh, I saw I can open this. Gloves are better. Just we can just take everything. Okay. We've already got some items. How do we open the menu? The back button. Okay. These give me elements of resistance and craftsmanship plus one. That's good because we don't even have craftsmanship in the first place. Uh, oh, my Y is my my main. That's what this. We just have the B button. Hmm. One handed. Ah, one handed blades, but I can't even use those. So is my Y? Is that when I use my hammer? It's not. So. Oh, so now I can use the hammer. Okay, I see how it works. So I can switch between them occasionally. Depending on the situation. Warhammer is better than mine. We can check that actually. So it would be better. Uh, yeah, it's better damage, so yeah, we'll equip it. Archer, no, we'll do that probably last. The merchant is there. Right up here. Mr. Merchant? Good day, my lady. Hosting you. Oh, thank you, you thank you. I yeah, my, my alerts don't work, but yes, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. There's been a misunderstanding, madam. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, madam. I'm just an agent, and I'm only obeying orders. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise? If these oh, thieves oops. agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. Okay, Your well, master obviously is apparently asking right to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. 
He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders? Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You were demanding a second payment, but refused to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I forgot about setting up my VTuber. Because, like, I have Minecraft on my PC, too, and I do want to stream Minecraft at the point. So, yes, we should figure out a day for when we can do that. I don't think you understand who you were dealing with. Perhaps I failed to present myself properly. Lady de Sardé, niece of the Prince d'Orsay, and legate of the Congregation of Merc. During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's for especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion and theft. You know as well as I that the congregation does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. That's a shame. Well, as orders are the only language you seem to understand, I order you to return the guard the merchandise without delay, unless you'd rather your master is hung and that you finish your days in prison. Milady, but you are not my master. Moreover, Damn it, I failed to check. The guard was quite specific, saying this affair should be handled with extreme discretion. So I seriously doubt that you'll be wanting to drag us in front of a judge. That would stir up the muck. Whatever is he talking about, Kurt? Your guess is as good as mine. I forgot, I gotta turn the brightness down. <laughs> if I just threaten them. This is preposterous. Your master is a thief. And I have no patience for bandit. Either you give us back what's ours, or we'll take oh, it. Oh, why is it cut the off the end of some of the sentences? isn't all that different from my own. Now to the devil with you. Since you leave us no choice. The merchant's clerk isn't hearing your arguments. The only thing left is a show of strength. Sorry, Greenblood. If I'd have known, I wouldn't have gotten you mixed up in this. That's fine. I'll find a way in there. Hmm, oh, chest over here. Just open this. Just... To my help! Help! Death to the others! Move on! Things are about to get done! It seems to have grown wiser all of us. Yeah, it's just a PNG, but I also don't know how to use OBS and all that. I don't know how to like set up a stream through my PC, but yeah, it's just a PNG. Yes, my lady. I'll take care of it immediately. What minus one of my reputation already? Over there? No. Move it, Kurt. To my help, and death to the others. Ow, okay. Move away. Got I can dodge. The, the good thing about magic is that it penetrates armor. Jump over there? Yeah, yeah, you can jump over these. 
Yes, yes. Uh, I do have tomorrow off, so that actually works. Let me see if you got a tie. You won't believe your eyes. This discovery will give you faith in existence. Are your boots worn through? Is your hat out of style? Does your vest belong to last year's fashion? Let's see. We can here. Oh yeah, brightness. I need to turn the brightness down. I am going to keep forgetting that unless I do it. There you go. It mainly looks better for me on my TV because it is awful. For <laughs> it's like really, really bright to me. Lady Desade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, you set sail soon. It's just so you weird how every character's got like business. a glow around them yes. that I cannot you fix. Finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid though that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. Blast me, I'm a captain, not an errand boy. The commander was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier 3D as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. Ah, but you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, now, yeah. If he finds an alternative solution that is less, uh, illegal, uh, that would be fine. The method matters not. But this cargo must reach the Isle on the next ship. Marvelous. Well then, I await your return with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required. Okay, so we've got to move, find a way to move merchandise. Go that way. Box, box, box. I promised the merchants and their prince would be off before the tide. You, man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. There are some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm Desarde, the prince's niece. If all is in order, we will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. <laughs> Apologies. Don't insult Apologies the man's asking, boat. But the young governor isn't with Ship. <laughs> he didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before. De I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that. Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have a favor to ask before we leave. I'm all ears. We would like to load some merchandise into your ship's hold. Impossible. You're too late for that. All merchandise must be registered at the Port Authority, and the formalities are long. 
So, unless you're asking me to turn smuggler and hide contraband on my vessel. I wouldn't go that far. We're only talking about a few crates, after all. Well then, they'll have to wait. The next ship for New Serene leaves in a month. Hellfire. If that shipment doesn't leave today, the commander will have my hide. <sighs> Captain, I understand your position, but isn't there some way we can get these crates on board? I doubt it. Even if I wanted to help you, my quartermaster is a half-crazed bridge troll. He's gone into his head that a gang of ruffians want to use my ship to pass contraband over to Tier 4 D. He's placed guards where our cargo is being held before being loaded. All that is not in the warehouse and noted on the manifest will be left on the docks. Sorry, but your crates are gonna have to wait until the next ship sets sail. Kurt, at least we tried. The commander is gonna have my head. I'm sure that's what he wanted in giving me this impossible task. In that case, we're going to have to dock to the manifest ourselves. It matters office. Okay. Be back soon, Captain. I have to speak to Basco about nothing's popping up on my map. Oh, there we go. We had to go with. I guess we have to. We have to talk to him about a little pop on the map. I guess I have to ask him about the cabin boy anyway, because that's what I was doing. Madam, you still haven't found your cousin. As you have no fear. I will bring him back in time to make up. I'm gonna skip this just so I can go to this. When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on it. Okay. Be back soon, Captain. Okay, so I, I just I just asked him about that character, so I don't know why. Is there something I'm missing? Cause I don't. Madam. You still have, have no fear. I'm still. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know. When did you? It's been two. It wasn't out of about the day. Of... Does the boy Just know? Ask that. Know. Miss Jonas, <sighs> does he have any close friends amongst the crew? In tradition, we are all members of the same family. I have yes, not started Majestic Prince Barbara. yet. I Might was going I to start that you tonight. Wish, you'll find them over there. Uh, at some point after after I stream. Um, it's it. Uh, I can read the synopsis of the back uh, for you real quick. Um, let's see, the original reason for creating genetically enhanced humans was to explore outer space, but when the alien uh, Walgaru attacked using vastly advanced technology, the evolved children were instead turned into mankind's last line of defense, which for uh, the members of the newly created Team Rabbits uh, means that their only hope of survival is to do the impossible, to somehow master an entirely new generation of weapon systems in the middle of a desperate war to become a team and keep each other alive even as Earth's defense force repeatedly throws them back into the slaughter and between the battles to uncover the secret motivations behind the mystifying actions of both the Walgaru and Team Rabbit's own command uh, Isuru, Asagi, Kai, Tamaki, and Suruga uh, may have been created as cannon fodder but in the end their will to survive may be the only thing that can solve the entire human race in Majestic Prince. It's just a 24 episode, uh, like, uh, mecha space-ish anime, kind of like some of the other ones I've uh, watched and done uh, reviews about. They're, they're, they're pretty interesting, what mecha animes are in general. Uh, I think mecha anime at this point is probably the, uh, majority of a lot of the anime I have. <laughs> a lot of it's just mecha related in one way or another. Is there anything in this room? Or is it just... 
sailor's coat. So, a new item. What? Oh, that's Kurt. I can go and look at his stuff. I was using the D-pad and it was different. Good day. Someone told me that you were a friend um, of Jonas. Um, which mecha anime have you seen? Because right I could here. give you recommendations for you all of the him. ones I have. Yes. Your captain asked me to go and find him. Happy to hear he's taken the disappearance seriously. What can I do for you? When did you last see him? <laughs> Two days ago, in the evening. We went to have a drink in the tavern. Jonas, Lauro, and myself. Did anything seem out of the ordinary? Was he troubled? Maybe a tad troubled. Like he was somewhere else. Why would that be? Give me your best guess. Boy, I haven't the faintest idea. What does Jonas do in his free time? When you're on land? He just hangs around here or there. You know the cabin boys don't have half a sailor's wages. And when evening comes, we usually go down the tavern with good old Lauro. Did he ever have one too many? Never. He sips his point like it was bad medicine. One drink lasts him the whole night. Does he know anyone in Serene? No one, far as I know. Do you think he could have made himself any enemies? I wouldn't think that for a moment. Jonas has a good heart and he steers clear of trouble and troublemakers. I don't know where to start with this. Do you have any idea? No. Lauro won't stop telling anyone who will lend him an ear that the boy was carried off by thugs. And you don't believe him? I like Lauro, don't get me wrong, he's like a brother. But to be honest, he drinks a little more than he should. The itch for a drink gets us all, but to him more than others, and when you drink too much, the imagination wanders. Here, yesterday, it was me who tied one over, and I thought I heard Jonas's voice by the canal. I call back to him, as you guessed, but then nothing. Drink. It blurs the senses. Well, fighter gun of G, Zoids, and Metara. I haven't seen any of those ones, actually, as funny as that is. Farewell. Um... So, all the mecha I have. Uh, Full Metal Panic, by far my favorite mecha that I've watched at all. It's got some nice comedic values. The relations between the characters are very good and well developed. The character development is pretty good. Um, there's also Gasaraki, which was a real cool one. Uh, they were more like samurai uh, mecha more than anything in that one, which was good. Obviously, Robotech. Uh, so it's together already of it, uh, Robotech's pretty good, um, technically, th there, there's three Robotech seasons, but you don't have to watch any of them in order at all, uh, like, regardless, uh, it, it makes sense for each one. Good day, sailor. Um. I've been told that you know the missing cabin boy well. There, there's, like, a human right? mecha ones, they're not, like, actual this. mechs, but they're, like, but humans are that are, like, robots like in themselves, it's called Steel Angel wins. Kurumi, uh, Take that is a good taken. one. You're interested in Darling in the Franx. Yes, yes. I want to watch that one, too. I do want to see that. And, uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion, because I know that has mechs, too. Uh, there's a lot. Good ones! Were you a witness to the event? Yes, I was. Even though I'd had a few tumblers in the belly, I hadn't yet lost my head. The other day, in the tavern, I saw him talking to a well-dressed man, surrounded by some other sly ruffians. And then when we left, him and I, Flavia left a little earlier, you understand? Well, those brutes were there, waiting for him. They just up and took him like that. Grabbed his arms and puff. Gone. Vanished. Why didn't you intervene? <sighs> I tried to, believe me. But my legs betrayed me. Wavering they were. And I fell into the gutter. Did you report this to the captain? Unfortunately not. I know all too well what weight my words carry. Even Flavia treated me like a drunken fool. And the captain? No, not telling him that. Have some pride left, you get me? Did Jonas seem troubled to you, the night he disappeared? Maybe. 
For sure he wasn't his usual self. Do you know what was on his mind? No. No idea. Why would anyone want to snatch a mere cabin boy? How would I know? Jonas is a gentle boy who keeps his head down. <sighs> you think my story is nothing but mess too, don't you? <sighs> it's just that I can't imagine a gang of thugs hoping to get a ransom for a cabin boy. Did anyone else see the kidnapping? There was still a small crowd in the tavern. But outside, I seem to recall that regular being there. We play cards with him from time to time. The kind of fellow who plays from morning to night time to be that skilled. But now and again he comes out. When nature calls, you know. I kind of remember his face being there. Thank you, Lara. Hey. I need to be going. Strange story, this is. Something isn't right here. I can feel it. We need to lift the veil on this. So I think that means we're gonna go to the bar area and check the people here. Pick this up. Oh, just gold coins on the counter. Uh, I'll have to just wander around in this area. Ooh, I have lock picking. Justin. Innkeeper's key, metal dowels, giant ore. Okay, I'll take everything. Assuming those are just going to be used for something. Good day, tavern keeper. Good day to you. What is your pleasure? I am looking for a nought. A young cabin boy who has been missing roll call for two days now. A nought, you say? That's not a lot to go on. There are quite a few that come to my tavern. According to one of his fellows, he would have been taken right here. A kidnapping? In my establishment? You surely jest. At least I hope you do. I would have noticed. That doesn't hold water. Someone told me about one of your faithful clients. A big gambler, it would seem. I see. An able-bodied man. Passes his time lightening the pouches of sailors coming through. Where might I find him at this time? Here. He would never give away his chair at his table. Anything else? Oh, yeah, I'm looking for my cousin. Constantine. His name is Constantin. I believe he was intent on celebrating his departure last night. There was indeed a party here last night, but it ended badly. Whatever do you mean? A brawl broke out. My tavern was shattered, and no one's paid for the damages. I'm sorry. Amongst the rebel rousers, did there happen to be a young man? Twenty years of age? Hair down to his neck, light brown? Blue eyes? Quite the talker? I don't believe it. Of course he was there. He's the man that started the fight. I hope you've come to oh, reimburse there you go, Constantine. Don't count on me to help you if that's not the case. <sighs> what kind of damage are we talking about exactly? A good half of my furniture was broken into firewood. I piled up the lot over there. Let me take a look. Perhaps it can be repaired. If you can fix it, I'll be obliged. If not, you'll need to pay. I'm not giving him gold. That's I'll see if I can fix it. That's not a small sum. I need to think about my options. Oh, the father has forgotten to give his daughter her allowance, it would seem. I need to be off. Asswad. Goodbye. Alright, I think I can use the rods I picked up to repair this. This furniture is in terrible condition. The fight must have been extremely violent. It looks as if it's fixable. I've seen worse. 
We'll need to build some metal dowels, but once done, we can make them like new. I could repair this and I already grabbed some them. metal dowels. I do though. I, I, I picked up. I could repair this if I had some metal dowels. I, I literally just found two earlier. What do you mean if I had them? I just have this thing right there. Oh, there's more metal dowels? Okay, so I guess I need a certain amount. I need four. Ah, makes sense, makes sense. And there you have it. You'd never guess they were once broken. Cool. I got that. I don't need to do that quest yet, so... Side quest. Continue doing this one. Person's passing is broken in front of me now. Who are you? I don't recognize you. Ed. No, have no fear about that. It's for a different reason that I'm here. I'm looking for a nought that disappeared two days ago after visiting this establishment. A young cabin boy. Two members of his crew accompanied him. Yes, that does ring a bell. I've played with the three of them. What can you tell me about the boy? How was he that night? He seemed rather nervous, as if he was worried about something. Didn't feel like playing that, I remember. Of course he I know who Kazuna AI is. <laughs> <he's disappeared. laughs> silly question, silly question. Tell me what happened that evening. A rich merchant came in with a band of strong arms. The kind of men you can round up for a few coins. If you catch my drift, they exchanged words with the cabin boy. The kid was defensive, not sitting pretty, finally left. And after that? It just so happens that I did go out for a breather. I needed some fresh air. And I think I might well have seen those same men grab him. But that was none of my business. I wouldn't have thought that they were kidnapping him if that's what it was. They weren't particularly rough with him. Okay. Who was the rich merchant, do you think? See, they're trying to a push driver? NFT. A money lender? Wait, what? No, my lady. You're in I'm luck. still not even 100% so familiar with what an NFT is. It was that merchant. Is it something it? you pay for, virus. but Just don't to try now. to resell it, or you take some... I don't understand what an NFT Thank is. Thank you. You've been immensely helpful. I, I, I still don't understand it. <laughs> You think we can what, what, what it is. What would he gain from lying? I have no idea. But what would any wealthy merchant gain from holding a penniless child? Citizens of Serene, come to me. You won't regret this miraculous opportunity. Your time is precious in these dark hours. Might I help you, my lady? I would like to have a word with Sir Fontaine. He is absent, but the lady of the house could certainly receive you. Enter, please. Oh, I know you. I've seen you at court. You are Lady de Sade. And to what do I owe the honor of your visit, Excellency? I would like to have a word with your husband. He is not here, but perhaps I could be of help. It concerns a delicate matter. We are looking for a missing cabin boy. According to witnesses, he had an argument with your husband before being taken. I see. I am afraid that you have been misled. You seem to have come to the wrong conclusion. The cabin boy you speak of was not taken. He has simply returned home. Excuse me, but I'm not sure I understand. 
Don't you see, Your Excellency? We got our son back. What? I am very surprised. Several witnesses confirmed that your son had a fight with your husband, and that his men escorted him from the tavern using force. If he had joined your husband willingly, witnesses in a tavern, and you choose to believe these drunkards over a respectable family. <laughs> these witnesses are all in agreement, and it is their testimonies that have led me to your doorstep. My son was probably shocked to have found us. My husband and the other men might have simply had to carry him. A gesture that your drunkards must have misunderstood. <sighs> uh. What was your son doing on a nought ship? Why would they have taken him? It is what they do. Through pacts and contracts, they steal away young children from their mothers. What are you talking about? I would have thought that a legate would know these things. But it is true that you are young and inexperienced. It seems that you have been protected from the turpitudes of our own nation and their terrible allies. This horrible, constant ransoming that they put us through. But I will not say another word. You will have no trouble verifying the details now that you know what to look for. Where might I find your son now? That is the I cannot image, say, but it's Excellency. Really you bad must for the understand why. Until the Norts have set sail, we live in fear they will take him back from us. This pact. It sounds like some fear inducing story. The Norts wouldn't be the first to recruit through dubious means. So, I'm trying to wrap my head around that. You own a unit of data that's an image. But how does the... Uh -huh. I, I, I just don't think my brain comprehends it very well. Like... Because... I see a lot of people talk about NFTs with regarding it to people's art and stuff or like there's these like mobile game apps that are like oh get these great nft real money and i'm just like i don't know what if it's just pertaining to people obtaining parts of an item but not and uh brain brain does not work very well off with these Madam, you still haven't found your cousin. Have no fear. I'm still without new. I spoke with a woman who told me she was the mother of the cabin boy. She claims that her son was taken from her. Taken? Her son is sea gifted. His parents were required to give him up to honor the terms of a contract. A contract? But what kind of contract are we speaking of? A commercial contract. In exchange for services rendered by the Nords. Some families seed more than gold. In some cases, nations even trade some of their subjects before they're born. I wouldn't be able to tell you the condition of Jonas's contract. I didn't even know he was originally from Serene. But what I can tell you is the young man hasn't seen his parents since he was a small child. And ever since, he's been a naught. Our ships are his home. We are his only family. Oh, uh, it is bad for art too. Now the data is uh, held is harmful. So, uh, Ethereum. What is Ethereum? I feel like if I just know what Ethereum is, I can get my brain wrapped around this better. A theorem. Decentralized open source blockchain. Did I search the right thing? Monks cryptocurrencies. Uh. Hold on. 
So it stands for non fungible. Okay, I, okay, NFT, a non fungible token. A non fungible token is a, a unique and non uh, interchangeable unit of data stored on a digital ledger. NFTs can be associated with easily reproduced items such as photos, videos, audios, and other types of digital files. As uh, unique items, NFTs use blockchain technology to provide a proof of their ownership. Oh, okay, I'm kind of getting there ish, learning more. Um, trade one another. Okay, you'll have to do the same thing. One of a kind, trade whatever is trade different, different kinds of stuff. Play it different. Okay, so um, most, most NFTs are part of Ethereum blockchain. Ethereum is a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, Dogecoin, but it's blockchain. And also supports NFTs which store extra information that makes them work differently. Uh, hmm. Okay, so my brain still can't comprehend it, but regardless, it seems like it's not, it's not good, obviously, because the only thing I hear about NFTs is that they're bad. That, that's all I've ever heard. So uh, even if I don't understand NFTs and what it's all about, what I do know is that it's not good. Okay, I get that part. So... So what you're saying is that, that someone's pushing people, like telling them, hey, buy these, like buy NFTs. But I still don't see Constantine at your side. I hope he hasn't been the victim of any foul play. Don't worry, we'll find him in time for departure. I certainly hope so. Uh, would you be in need of my help in any way? I've had a word with Lady Fontaine. You must know her. That rich family that lives near the docks. She told me a strange story about her son who was a cabin boy on our ship. She said that he was taken when he was a child due to some contract with the Nords. Who was a cabin boy? Do you mean he's no longer one? They took him back to bring him home. Well, that is very unpleasant news to Sade. We need to do all we can to bring the boy back to his ship. Since time immemorial, there's always been a certain price to pay for the services of the Nords. Children born on their ships belong to them. It's the rule of the sea. But certain contracts are the, so The important thing I'd want to figure out is why they would push them. Like, was it a self-decision that they decided to make, or is something else going on? That, that's what I'd want to know, because I'm just like, certain noble families why would someone push it if it's not good? Are you telling me that the Fontaines lost their son in an agreement signed between my uncle and the Norts? Um, no. That pact ended a long time ago. This cabin boy couldn't have been a part of that contract. But Sir Fontaine has made a fortune trading with the Alliance, uh, uh, via ships. Do you mean he would have offered up his own son in exchange for wealth? Well, he probably did it before the birth of the child, and regretted it afterwards. But that is of little importance. What counts most is that you bring the boy back to the Norts as quickly as possible. Breaking a contract with the seafarers has always cost us dearly. Our nation could feel it in its coffers. I will do my best. A father selling his own son for a few boat rides. For ugly, that is ugly. Lady Fontaine didn't seem to have any knowledge of that detail. That could be of use to us. Yeah. 
Are you brushing the wall? Dusting the wall? The brush? Oh, see that? Excuse me, madam, but I haven't quite finished my inquiries there. yet. If you would be so courteous, I would like you to leave. I have told you all that I have to say. Oh. So, do you think it's just a company thing then that that's trying to do it? Because that's what it would seem like as I as I look at that. Come on now, stop lying. Jonas was taken away by force against his will by armed men. <sighs> that is not true. Completely false. He enough. With every word, you are a step closer to a prison cell. Prison. But what would be the charges for kidnapping? Whether Jonas is your son or not, he's a naught that you kidnapped and locked up. In the eyes of the prince, you have committed a crime that puts the interests of the congregation at great risk. I beg of you, Your Excellency. Have mercy on a poor mother who is looking only to recover her child. We didn't kidnap our own son. And if you need to speak with him to be convinced, please do. He's in our warehouse, near the Coin Guard Plaza, next to the canal. I am certain that once you have heard his account, you will see the tragedy in our predicament and help us. I regret having had to threaten that woman. You didn't have a choice. She was lying and we need to find that boy. Okay, so we have to find a way to free Jonas and we have two separate options. Fontaine won't be alone. He'll have his henchmen with him. Let's just try to remain discreet. It's down, so it seems that it would be. Lady de Sade, what are you doing here? I have come looking for your son. The Noughts are worried about his disappearance. Uh, those Noughts took him from us, but now we've got him back, and he'll be staying with us. Would you be so kind as to hear what I have to say, Sir Fontaine? I'll try to You've taken your son against his will and have locked him up like merchandise in a warehouse. Is that what you call being a good father? If I hadn't taken him back, he would have been Successful, hauled yes. off on one of the cursed ships. If that's what he wants, then why would you want to stop him? For his mother. She misses him so. But in the end, you may be right. My boy has changed. He hasn't spoken a word to me since we've been in this precarious predicament. Very well. Take the key and take him away. Cursed be the day I delivered my son unto the noughts. All children leave the nest one day or another, sir. Farewell. Yeah, that's what I would just say. It is. It would, it would just kind of make sense overall with how a lot of big things go nowadays. I guess that was just a different way to get in here. Just to sneak him out the back, potentially. Lockpicking level one? Ooh, there are some items here. Take a look at. Mm, just some more amounts of resistance, but it's garbage other ways. Oh, new hat. Less armor and balance, but I get poison resistance and a loot chance. I'll do that. I like my loot. I need one handed blades to even use that. Okay. 
I'll just lock pick it open because I don't care even though I have the key. Anything in here to collect? I seem so. Who are you? My name is Desardi. I have trolled on every two doors of the sneak. Yeah, send me the view. Your captain has sent me to find you. And were you able to convince my my father to allow me to go free? Yes. Even if I had to bend his arm a little. That doesn't surprise me. He seemed to have no intention of changing his mind. I feel more sorry for my mother. She seems so sweet and happy to see me. You don't seem to be all that close to your parents. I hadn't seen them since I was five years old. I barely remember them. They find me, capture me, and lock me up in this warehouse. Hard to grow close after all that. My family is the noughts. I am sorry for my parents, but that is the way of it now. Can I go home? Yes. You should still go and say farewell to your mother. Then find your way to your ship. I will see you there. Alright, All right, uh, we're gonna end stream there, because I've got other stuff to do today. Thank you for coming. We will play more another time. Save. Menu. Oof. I may just end up skipping a lot of dialogue half the time for the next streams and ones after that. Um, I, I, I can give you the rundown of what happens on each conversation. It's it's not hard to do, but I kind of want to just get into the game and yeet things around and really get to the new DLC part that I had never had a chance to do. But, um, let me see if I can find someone to give a good old good old raid to here. You know, I know exactly who we're gonna go to. Spell that right. Make sure they're still actually streaming and they're not in the middle of something real quick. Okay, yes, yes, we'll be good. So let me... Why? Why did it not let me? Oh yeah, there we go. Popped up. It just took a second. I was like, I was like, why isn't it popping up? Alright. Thank you. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye and enjoy the gecko lady. The dragon.